hello everyone welcome back to the channel today we want to take a quick look at the difference between the 2022 ford explorer st and the 2022 ford explorer st line which i think uh, is very important for you to know because someone was asking me what is the difference between these uh, two suv and today that we have them parked next to each other i want us to look at some of the difference please if you are new to my channel and you want to see more videos like this subscribe like and share so that when i post my future videos you will be among the first to see my videos the first thing that you are going to notice is that uh, the grill on this uh, explorer st is different this is like a match grill and on the front you have st boldly written here so if you come to the st line you don't have the same grill which i think is very important uh, to know the headlights and uh, the fog lights everything looks the same when you come over here it looks the same but uh, one thing that is different look at the bottom of this uh, st you have uh, all the different uh, sensors on the front But if when you come to the ST line, you don't have those uh, sensors uh, built into the front, which I think is very important because the ST costs more than this uh, ST line. When you come to the rear of this ST, one thing that you're going to notice is that uh, here you have ST boldly written and uh, you have all the parking sensors which you also have and on this uh, st line you have lesser parking sensors for example if you look here on this st line you don't have a parking sensor but when you come here you actually have a parking sensor right here so this s so this st line has more parking uh, sensors and another noticeable difference about the st and the st line if is you that. look here you have a quad exhaust uh, on this uh, ST. But when you come over to the ST line, you only have a double exhaust. One on the right and one on the left. But for the ST, you have two on the left and two on the and In the right. rear, here on the ST line, you have four-wheel drive rating there. But if you go to the ST, it is replaced uh, with the ST. With the ST and the ST line that they have, you have Ford of Kirkland, you have a yeah, panoramic, have a panoramic uh, sunroof for the ST line. On the ST, you also have a panoramic uh, sunroof. And when you look at the side of this uh, ST line, you have the ST line badge here, but uh, you come over here to the ST, you don't have anything on the side of this uh, ST. And the wheels is one place where this uh, ST really shines compared to the ST line. So here you have 21 inch matte black wheels with uh, Ford Performance uh, brake calipers and uh, rotors, which I think looks really nice. But when you come to ST the ST line, you have a uh, two tone 20 inch alloy wheel, which I think also looks nice and uh with this st line and the st you have the same fender flares i love how they are not sticking out uh, let me and show this is you what the fender flare of the st looks like which is the same on the bottom of the two suv you have explorer on the bottom here with the same design and uh, here you also have a uh, explorer boldly written with the matte black uh, trim which i think uh, looks really cool for the engine this st that we are looking at is powered by a 3.0 liter twin turbocharged v6 engine that is paired with a 10 speed automatic transmission and that engine produces uh, 400 horsepower and uh, 415 pound feet of torque and that engine can tow up to 5,600 pounds and then uh, you get a payload of 1,459 pounds. When you come to the ST line, this one is powered by a 
2.3 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine that is sped with the same 10 speed automatic uh, transmission and this one produces 300 horsepower and uh, 310 pound feet of torque and uh, with this uh, st line you can tow 5000 300 pounds but when you come to the st you tow 5600 pounds for mpg on this uh, st line you get uh, 20 miles to a gallon in the city and down uh, 26 miles to a gallon on the highway and when you come to the st you get 18 miles to a gallon in the city and 24 miles to a gallon on the highway now let me take you to the interior and show you one of the major difference in the interior and when you come to the interior of this st this is where it really shines here on the digital display cluster you have a 12 inch uh, display and when you come over here you have a 10.1 inch uh, central display with apple carplay and uh, android uh, auto and in the interior of this uh, st line you have a 6.5 inch uh, digital display gauge cluster and uh, here you have a uh, 8 inch uh, navigation or 8 inch uh, central display and one thing that you one thing that is very important to know is that they both have panoramic sunroof and on the seat of this st line you don't have anything boldly written uh, on them but uh, you have red station on the seats 